Contrary to popular belief, not all carbohydrates are inherently fattening. Weight gain is a result of consuming carbs in excess, but this can be avoided by choosing better sources of carbs in the first place. There are actually many high carb foods with low energy densities that will satisfy you before you overeat. These foods are typically much less processed than their fattening counterparts. Since eating carbs raises blood sugar levels, some people believe that carbs are the same as sugar. While it's true that carbs are broken down into a sugar called glucose, not all of the body's sugars are created equal. Starches are entirely glucose, but table sugar is half glucose and half fructose. This fructose is much more damaging to the body when overconsumed. It's undeniable that low-carb diets offer a variety of potential health benefits. However, this does not mean that going low-carb is the best decision for everyone. Some physically active people need more carbs to function properly, and other people simply don't feel good after cutting carbs out. Going on a low-carb diet is not something that works for everyone. It's an important life choice to be made in appropriate circumstances. While cutting back on carbs and sugar typically leads to weight loss, it's still possible to gain weight on a low-carb diet. Many low-carb foods are high in fat, and overeating them will cause the excess calories to be stored as body mass. Because of this, most people need to remain aware of their fat and calorie intake even after cutting back on carbs. Dietary fiber is indigestible, meaning it passes through the body, and some people believe this makes it irrelevant to human health. Yet fiber reacts with bacteria in the gut to improve digestion, and recent studies suggest it can help reduce body weight and improve cholesterol. Not all carbs are evil or unnecessary, and dietary fiber is a great example of why such myths should be ignored.